whole, they, they, the whole thing the, the, uh, with the exchange. Exchanging mm -hmm. their life for mine. Mm -hmm. Exchanging their life for mine. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that, church. We can't forget that. That each and every day, that's how we are supposed to live. Because a natural life is in what this world's atmosphere. But that's our natural life. But his life is where? Heaven's atmosphere. Heaven's atmosphere. On earth as it is in heaven. And we have to walk like that each and every day. And make a conscious choice. Continually having to make that conscious choice. That yeah, I see how it might look at that. But you know what? I'm not going to look at it like that. I'm going to look through God's lenses. I'm going to look through what he's seeing that's happening out here because he can see in the future and what's happening and what's going on. And we're just seeing what's happening right now in the now. And then we get so shaken. We get so far removed from who and what he's called us to be and to do. That, that has actually shaken so many people that folks have just walked away. From all that God has called them to do and the great purpose in their life. It's like a pathless travel, truly. I mean, how many people do you know that walk like this? And we're born to you guys. It is, it is, I wish we could just take our hope and like throw it out there because it's because it's not just, I keep saying, you know, people think, well, yeah, this is great. We're in a sermon, but I have to go to work tomorrow. And I, and I know what life is like there. And, and so uh, there's so many scriptures. It is like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> when, when you start thinking like this, it's like, it's like there are jewels everywhere. There are so many scriptures about fix your eyes, think about things in heaven. And every time I see it, I'm like, Jesus, you, you put these things everywhere. It's like, it's like breadcrumbs, like only with their beautiful jewels. Like, 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 I'm not kidding. This is the life I want for you. This is what I've designed you for. This is how you're supposed to walk. In Colossians 3... Um, 1 through 4 and 10, it says, Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities <coughs> of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right, right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your creator and become like him. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. I love that. Um, uh, <clears throat> be renewed as you learn to know your creator and become like him. He's in the bubble. He's in that bubble with them. So, like, it's walking with him. It's talking with him. It's like, um, like okay, she's aggravating the tar out of me, Lord. What do I say? <laughs> like, for real. Like, I mean, this is why being able to hear him is so important. So important, like every, everybody's talking about being able to hear and being able to that, get that, that, that sense of knowing down here and even hearing the words to be able to walk that out. Like, okay, Jesus, it's you, me, it's you, me. We're walking around, we're doing this thing and, and having that continual talking. Um, in Ephesians, it says, For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So it is, it is a true fact. And, and not a lofty thinking thing. If you look, you will find it everywhere. I mean, poor because I know I must have 20 scriptures up there, and that's just the beginning. Just the beginning of being able to walk like this. Each and every day, because sometimes we sit back and we look at it, when we get salvation, we just think, okay, I've got it. My name's written in that Lamb's Book of Life. I'm good to go. That's just the beginning. That's just the start at right there for all that he has in store for each and every one of us. There's so much more to do from that point forward than just to sit back and think, well, I made it. I'm there. There's so much more he wants us to walk in and stuff because that bloodline that Jesus has given us that has actually separated us from that world. And so we can walk in that light so we can go out and do all that he's called us to do. So we can actually go and do and actually start, well, continue on where the disciples left off. That's what we're supposed to do. Each and every day we're supposed to walk in. But this is a choice that we have to make. And that I think this is a big key to this whole thing. For us walking and having the exchange life that he actually wants us to have. It's a daily choice. It's a daily choice. Just like I say, each and every day when you get up, you've got to make a choice of what to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow him. 
We get to deny our selfish ambitions. We get to deny all these things that we think that we're entitled to. Because just like yesterday, when I got blessed with that 55 inch TV, <laughs> thank you, Lord. I even told Chris, I said, thank you, baby. I said, thank you. I did. I said, thank you. What a blessing. Because God wants us to have the best. Yeah. He wants us to have great things. Yeah. It's like, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things. That's another one of those treasures yeah. because, because you know, denying yourself just means I'm going to fix my eyes on you and let you handle all of that. It's not so much like, oh, you know, like I'm going to cut it so it's so hard. <laughs> like that. It's like, no, I'm, okay, I'm fixing my eyes on you. I want your peace. I want your joy. I want your love. I'm walking like this. Jesus, you handle all the rest. You, you get the rest. You right. don't care. I just want your presence. Like everything is worth giving up for his presence. Remember rest where we found um, in Matthew 13, 44 and 48. It says, heaven's kingdom realm can be illustrated, kingdom realm can be illustrated like this. A person discovered that there was hidden treasure in a field. Upon finding it, he hid it again. And because of uncovering such tre treasure, he was overjoyed and sold all he possessed to buy the entire field just so he could have the treasure. Heaven's kingdom realm is also like a jewel merchant in search of rare pearls. When he discovered one very precious and exquisite pearl, he immediately gave up all he had in exchange for it. And, and I read a commentary, and they were saying, you know, this is Jesus. He gave up everything. He gave up gave of glory and came to, to purchase us, but it's also us for him. It's, it is the exchange. Here he comes and he gets us. Then when we discover this life, the exchange life, it's like, Lord, there is nothing worth having. That, there is nothing worth losing you over. There's nothing worth having in this bubble if it means you're going to leave, if it means you're out of here, if it means I'm going to go back. There's nothing worth. And so we, we like, so we like sell everything. It's like, Take it all. I don't care because that peace that is so thick and that joy of being in his presence is so thick and so good. I'm telling you, you could live under a bridge and, and you'd be like, it is well. <laughs> I'm so good. He gave me a sandwich. <laughs> he's so thick. He's so close. He's so funny. He's thick. It's a real deal. And, and that's why it's like, so to so get rid of your life, it's like, yeah, like, I, I don't have any ambition. All I want, all I want is you. All I want is your presence. All I want is to live like this. And then he handles the rest. Yeah, so it's cool. This last Thursday night, right before we actually went on Facebook Live and started the Bible study, God sort of gave me uh, the four things here. He says, to walk like this, this is what each and every one of us knows that we have to do each and every day. We've got to trust, number one. We've got to trust in who the God is, who he says he is. <coughs> and we have to make sure that we do that, that we're knowing who God is. He says, you've got to trust me. He said, not only that, he said, they got to expect. They have to expect to walk like this each and every day. You have to expect to walk like this each and every day, just like Jesus did as he was here on this earth. And then after they expect that, they have to accept that this is going to be a normal way of life. This is how each and every day is supposed to be. This is going to be normal in your life. Of each and every day as you walk in, in this light, this marvelous light of him with that bloodline right there that has separated you from the darkness, from this world that we live in, and we're to uh, accept that. And then all of a sudden, after we accept it, then we have to recognize that who we are in Christ. We have to recognize.